This is Public Resource. We often hear the idea that information wants to be free, but I had a long talk with information. We went away for a weekend. We had a sweat lodge. Uh, we cried about our fathers. And when it was over, information took me a long kind of soulful hug and whispered its deepest secret in my ear, which is the only thing information wants for us is for us to stop anthropomorphizing it. Because information doesn't want a damn thing, but people want to be free. And in an information society, the way you make people free is by giving them technological self-determination. The, the right to decide which of their data is collected and how it's used, the right to decide how the digital networks that make up their world are regulated, the right to decide whether or not it's time to throw away a device that they rely on for education and uh, access to employment and family and healthcare and romance and so on, or whether they can get it repaired. And, and if they can get it repaired, by whom? By which independent repair shop? Which software they can run on those devices? All of those things, those are, are critical to living in a free society, not a free society that's some kind of like Mad Max vision where we all, you know, sort of run around competing to see who's free to eat the other one, but a free society where we can make common cause to hold our democratically elected politicians to account and get them to enact policies that reflect our common needs and not the needs of a, a few powerful people, and also a society where we're free to get together and live our own lives in ways that benefit us, that, that we can choose the entertainment and the discourse and the um, products and the services and the communities that make the most sense to us and that serve our needs rather than the needs of a large company, whether it's funded by advertising or by building a walled garden and selling you stuff in it. Open Access Ninja. Here.